Here's an update on the Datsun 2HZ. Uh, main changes we've done recently are we've gone to a programmable ECU for the fuel injection and the ignition timing. Um, it's called an EMU system. But basically it means that you can change the programming for the firing of the plugs which are now got individual coils on and also change the fueling system. It's got an oxygen sensor in the exhaust which it uses to change the programming uh, while you're running. Uh, it's an EMU system we're plugged in at the moment. This is some of the stuff that you get up. Um, we can change here, this is the fueling, uh, ignition timing, uh, lamber sensor or oxygen sensor, whichever you want to call it. Uh, this is the readings of what we're trying to get. Um, let's see if it'll fire up and you can have a listen to her. See how things change on there. Oh. Yeah, we're still in the midst of programming it, so it's not 100% yet. Yeah. So as you can see it still needs a bit of work to it, but I'm going to run through what we've done so far. Um, I'm going to go under the bonnet and, uh, and show you the before, a bit of a before and after um, under the bonnet. So this is a before, so uh, this is a picture of, so here's going to be a lot of change, air mass flow meter, distributor, all of these gubbins that control the um, tick over and the emissions stuff uh, all that's going so if we look now at the car the engine itself you can see quite a bit of change um, to what's on that picture no air mass flow meter uh, one of the big differences this is working on what they call a map sensor, manifold absolute pressure, so it's looking at the pressure in the inlet manifold rather than the flow through to the inlet manifold. This is quite a weight saving thing as well as a restriction saving. If we look over here, uh, so this is your MAF sensor, mass air flow, and as you can see inside there's a flap there that the air has to push against to open up. And that pressure there is slowing your air down because it has to push against it. So you're getting better airflow and no restrictions. It's just a tube now that's on there. The other thing as well, the distributor. Um, this weighs quite a bit actually, believe it or not. And also there's a lot of gubbins in there. Um, the ignition timing was separate to the computer on the other system, the old system. Whereas now if you look at the uh, one we've got now, it's just got what we call a secondary trigger, so a cam sensor trigger here, um, and that's uh, that's been triggering the computer on the vehicle. Um, also, there's no gubbins here. If you notice on the picture, uh, a lot of um, exhaust recirculation emission stuff going off there as well. Uh, that's been removed, uh, which is also making it obviously lighter. Um, different exhaust, uh, we've also got the lambda sensors in the exhaust option sensor uh, 4.2. Uh, there's two there, the reason for that is one of them's for the computer and one of them's for the uh, gauge that I've got in the car telling me what the oxygen is in the exhaust. Wyoming loom obviously then gets reduced uh, because there's less to do. Um, the computer doing all the work rather than the sensors doing the work. Um, adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Uh, we're waiting for some, uh, the injectors aren't, haven't got enough uh, restriction in them so that in the car winding so we're waiting for some uh, restrictors for that because they overwork the computer and uh, it could burn it out so uh, throttle position sensor. Now you might think the one that's usually over here is a throttle position sensor it's not it's just a switch so it's an on off switch just telling, telling you it's accelerating or not open open throttle or not. Um, on the other side we've got, if we just swing round, copper plug. Um, these are, you can research this if you want, 
these are switched by the computer so they haven't got an inbuilt amplifier. Now I did start off using inbuilt amplified coil packs but they tend to be a bit hit and miss, they fail sometimes. These are switched by the ECU, it's got an amplifier built into the ECU so it does it for you. Um, but uh, and it, it, It's a neat wiring loom, there's less wires going to the coil packs as well. Um, but other than that I think it's coming on. Um, we're getting there. It's just very, very, um, how can I put it, um, fiddly getting the right air fuel mixture to start with. But uh, as it goes on, we'll, uh, I'll keep you in touch. But uh, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Thank you for watching.